There are a whole family of uh, different types of scoliosis. So the most common in, in um, young people, most commonly in teenagers, is what we call adolescent idiopathic scoliosis. And that's maybe 65 or 75 percent of all scoliosis. And then um, the next type is what we call neuromuscular scoliosis. And those are all of the um, curves in the spine caused by being paralyzed or having some neurologic deficit, myelomeningocele or, or uh, paraplegia or um, even some what we call syndromic um, neurologic deficiencies. Uh, then um, the third broad category is uh, congenital scoliosis. So these are malformed vertebrae that, that often become manifest in young children because as soon as these children start growing, their spine grows in the wrong direction and creates a spinal deformity. The final category is um, degenerative scoliosis. This is adult scoliosis, probably distinguish that from any kind of pediatric scoliosis. These types of spinal deformities tend to be much more severe and harder to take care of um, because, because the, sp the spines are, are so much more st stiff and rigid than in, in children.